Next up is Springboard. What is going on? We don't have to hit these in any particular order. But what needs to happen is that we need to stop here and then launch up to here. We are quite literally making a spring cannon in a dedicated spring cannon level. So it's gotta stop here, then we launch it up. And then it probably drives over. Does it start driving again? It does start driving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, this should be fun. Maybe it's easy. Where do we think it will actually stop here? Because it'll take a while to slow down. Uh, I'm just going to do a very, very overspending design. I am spending way too much money on this arch because it has steel, but that's fine. All right, so then we just launch it with springs. So obviously this isn't even going to be close to enough. <laughs> we need to hold this thing in until this car hits. This needs to be a steal, I think. It just instantly vaporizes. Let me try something more like this. Uh, let's try to build something like this, maybe. <gasps> oh, there we go. It really wants to blow up, but it's not going to do it. 83% stress. All right, something went wrong. <laughs> we kind of flicked it. Also, it seems to detach earlier than expected. Okay, well, here's how this is going to go then. I'm going to just, I'm going to redo this. I'm going to even bring back the grid. And then, yeah, springs here. Max compressed. And the same supports. I mean, how bad can this really be? How does it clip the fucking back wheel of the car? This is... Ah, oh, man. This, it, it seems like it should be working, but it's not. Yeah, we could do a stopping road. Yay! We've done it. Okay. So now we just need to catch it. So about here. Uh, now it's going to be hard to not hit the road on the way up. It's going to be really difficult and also simultaneously catch it. But I mean, I'm sure that can be worked out. Just a simple catch ramp, not even springs. <laughs> why did that? I don't even know why that broke. I'll just add more of these, I guess, and even get rid of this. And catch. Right, so. There's gotta be some springiness to it. Or does there? What if I just said, fuck the springs? <laughs> Entirely, and just use them for the cannon. And then bother using them for the catch. Hmm. Let's, uh... Smooth out these roads a little. Nice landing. And now we wait. Yes. 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 It's happening. Any minute now. I don't know how this guy still has a face. <laughs> but the motorcycle will not let up. No. So the problem actually is with this road. It's donking the road. I'm gonna raise this up then. Fortunately, we have a problem with our muscle in that the muscle can't go much higher. Um, so what I'm gonna do then is this. Just a higher catch. Damn it. <laughs> nice donk. Okay, we're launching a lot more forward. Too bad it's tipping them over. Mmm, <gasps> nope. Okay. We're just gonna have to get really lucky. Because he's not tipping over, but he's going straight up, straight down. Oh, maybe. Come on. Oh, it's so close. 
Oh, it's hanging out there. It's uh, this. Well, this one actually might work still. No, it's fine. We can fix it. Yeah, this is definitely the one. Come on. Hey, there we go. Just a couple, couple minor breaks. Couple breaks didn't hurt anybody. People got it for real cheap, huh? Really cheap. Four digits. Ah, uh, next level. All together now. I don't know what the shit I'm doing here. I might just go on to a different one. This is way too much for me. All right, how about getting loopy? So what's interesting is it has to end up over here. Because I'm curious of how I'm going to get A2. Like, I can get to A1 easily, but then I have to get to A2, and that's even weirder. So, like, I have to loop this back, because otherwise, I mean, I can't have it go vertical. I have to loop it back to A2. So maybe I have to catch it and then launch it again. So, like, this is going to send it up, and then it's going to go basically in this trajectory. So then I got to catch it over here or something. Maybe it'll just naturally hit this wall. Oh, there's some crazy loop thing like this. <laughs> and then this. <laughs> it's... It's just a giant course. I don't know if it's gonna have the speed to do all this. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna be able to catch this without the entire thing blowing up. Damn it, we're gonna try. Alright, uh, chances are this probably won't even hold. We could do like... <laughs> big cable <laughs> going down to there. Oh god. 21% stress. It's not bad. Uh, the, the track might be off though. Yeah, the track's off. And it doesn't break that easily either. It still donks this. Hold on. So let me try to generate a little bit more speed then. All right, let's try again. Wow, somehow it didn't break. Are you? Pfft. Okay, this is one slow ass car. It barely broke, but it didn't get the height. Well, that sucks. All right, what if there, this, this ramp is longer? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a lot better. Let's arch this down more then, so it can hit. It's getting closer. Do we need another road up here or something? Yeah, it bounces off of this, and then it doesn't hit the other roads. It's like just the giant backboard sitting there. Goes straight up, and then... No, oh, it's really close this time. Let's see where it lands. There. Ideally, what I would want is to have guiding roads that are just constantly going. And then eventually they loop down and throw it this way. What a giant stinky mess. Alright, now we got a full loop. So I feel like the biggest problem is down here. Like, it feels like at the bottom... Is giving getting a bit of air time losing speed <gasps> Yes, finally something decent. Can I have this be shorter so this doesn't donk probably gonna change everything, but I don't care No, it's good. Okay, that's really good just a little bit shorter and then we're just gonna have like a little catch here basically And then launch it up Just send it Let's maybe try to reinforce these roads. Because this is a hard section to take. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Ah, oh, that break is unfortunate. Hmm, let's see. Maybe I need more roads for this? So I can do a sharper angle, or a better angle change. Oh, wait a second. 
it can't make it up that hill on its own. I'm pretty sure it legitimately cannot make it up. I mean, maybe it'll work, maybe it'll work, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Man, this thing... This thing's terrible. I mean, it's just not that fast. I'm really thinking about doing a floating island. <laughs> like here. It says everything. Alright, well it missed. But it still got further. <gasps> the floating island! Come on! No! <laughs> Unbelievable! That is a shame. Okay, well that had so much power going into that, I'm sure we can fix it. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's gotta be it, right? Ah, oh, there we go, we've done it. <laughs> what a wild, wild, wild bridge. People got it to be at one third budget. What a nutty level. What a wild roller coaster of a bridge. This actually isn't a bridge, this is just a roller coaster now. I guess this is just the single loop, but the amount that goes into this is crazy. Next up is Crash Course, level 12. What the hell is this? So all three buses go at exactly the same time. They're stupid slow. They're disgustingly slow. And they all have identical stats. And somehow, what's gotta happen is A1 has to get up here and A3 has to get in before A2. So what I imagine needs to happen is that A1 and A2 literally need to crash. They need to crash so that A3 can get in first. And then somehow we need to separate A1 and A2. Like, I get the crash thing, but I don't know how we're supposed to sort out the two of them. So let's, let's get working on this. I want to have some sort of three-part road thing go from here. So A3 is going to drive over like this. Like, it's going to be like a two-part trap door. So, uh, it's going to be some dumb sort of trap door with springs and all that. I don't even know what the hell I'm building. <laughs> I really don't. It's a giant mystery. But this is gonna be sort of a spring trap door. Okay, that actually holds up quite nicely. Next, you are gonna be held back. So let's get, I don't know, something like this here. Does this stop it? All right, this doesn't do shit to stop it. Maybe this would be a spring? Well, it doesn't matter. There's the road that, oh no, a spring stops this. Perfect. I think I'll even stretch it a little then. All right, so now we got to work on this. A3 first has to get across, and then this has to come down. So I have some sort of um, road that goes to here. And then we attach it all. And then we have some sort of higher structure. Maybe go into like here. Right, so all I'm hoping for is that this will come across, and this will make it here. All right, so really the only problem are, is the uh, bottom roads right now, which is fine. The, that works well as a trapdoor. I also have this road that falls. I should probably do something about this. But let me do this first. Then let's get, uh, let's basically do the same sort of thing with this ramp as we're doing with this ramp or the top ramp. So both ramps will be kind of identical in function. It's just one's going to be a lot heavier than the others. All right, this comes across nicely. This goes up nicely. Oh, this snaps. All right, let's raise this up so it's a bit more of a stronger entity. And I think I'll even reinforce the roads because I just want this to gently lower down without killing the thing. All right, so unfortunately this didn't work how I hoped it would, but this is looking really good. This section, just keep pushing it. Just, just topple it over. Unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. That's fine. So first things first. Let's make this compress less next We've got to topple this over. So here's an idea Let's get rid of this. And let's make this a spring. What if this is a spring? Yeah, well, we'll see Hey, good news. We got one successful bus 
And honestly, this design could function. It's just this one does not go down. So here's an idea. I'm gonna have this start lower and compress it. Cause if you compress a spring, it's a lot less strong. <gasps> yes! All right, two buses have made it. That weird little road thing is so nice. So now all we have to do is let this guy go. That's it. Just let him go across. I mean, it's a bridge. This this thing can be pushed up and it doesn't even need to be pushed up that far. We just do it. It's got to stall. It's, but it's got to be on a timer. So I think with a spring, we can put it on a timer like this. Oh shit, that hits up here. All right, what I'm going to do then instead is try to add another road here so we can avoid the bus. So let's arch this up a little bit better. Yeah, because now it's not pushing up against those roads. And now we just have this. Oh, please don't break. Okay, that's good. Everything is according to plan. Now, is it going to keep moving? All right, so unfortunately, uh, this guy, he's just not making a move. Let's maybe again try to create a bit more of uh, space for our A2 truck and then rebuild this road. Come on! No! <laughs> I knew that'd be an issue. I saw that. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm pretty sure it's going to fuck. Hold on. So that's an easy fix though. Actually, we know why this breaks. It's very clear. We simply need better supports going up here. So, triple muscle time. Just the stronger hold up here. Okay, so here we are again. It all comes down to this landing. I guess I could also just support the rest of the bridge more. But I'm going to slow it down as it falls. So I can observe what is in danger of breaking the most. It's this thing. And then this swings and it probably kills everything else. <gasps> or it doesn't kill everything else and we have a functioning bridge. Let's go! At, uh, with a casual $60,000 to spare. Uh, this level is pretty neat. I mean, not gonna lie, the whole breaking stuff was kinda ass. And it's gonna be weird to get back to. But this was fun. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty bland bridge comparatively to the others. But it was still interesting because it was a big and difficult challenge. Anyways, let's carry on.